My name is Jeff Chabon from Melbourne, and this is an Excalibur data acquisition panel. This panel is set up for kayak. It consists of three sensors, one at each end for detecting load, and one in the middle for detecting position. The load sensors detect the force that you apply to the blade during the paddling action. The positional sensors detect the orientation of the blade and also the, the angle of the blade to the water. The use of the paddle is extremely simple. Simply switch the paddle on at the lower of the switch. You'll get a constant steady light. Press the upper button. The paddle will go through a nulling function where it's detecting at zero positions and then you'll get a flashing light. The flashing light indicates that you're recording. You have about two and a half hours of recording time. Conduct your trial, so do your test. <clears throat> Press the stop button. The flashing light will stop. You've now set up a timed data file for that trial. You can start and stop as often as you like to set up more timed data files. When you're finished for the day, simply switch the paddle off, take it to your computer, Open up the USB port, which is at the upper port, and connect to your computer via the USB. Having connected the paddle to the computer, we then open the Talent Results Lab software, and this is the welcome screen. As you can see, you have the amount of battery remaining, the percentage of memory used on the paddle, and also the remaining minutes on the paddle. I'm going to go to Tasks. Normally here we would go to download recordings from Paddle and then upload from the Paddle the data. However, I've already done this, so I'm going to go to view recordings graphically. Here in this box you see the downloaded files. If I open that file, it will show me the strokes that are in this sample. Each one of these curves is a stroke. This is only looking at one side of the paddle though, so I'm going to go down to Next to View and I'll get a more expanded view of the files. Here both A and B have been ticked, so we're looking at both the right and left sides of the kayak paddle. I can stretch this out and I can pan through the sample at this point. Obviously the top of this curve represents the amount of load that's applied, and that's measured on the left hand side in terms of kilos. This is factory set, but can be reset to pounds or newtons. The bottom scale is time in seconds. I'm going to go back now and have a look at this file in more detail through the analysis part of the package. I'm going to go to do statistical analysis and compare different recordings. And I'm going to open the same file as we had before. Now at this point I can do various measurements. And one of the measurements I'm most interested in is impulse. Impulse is the area under this curve. So we're looking at the power by time. So it's the energy transfer in effect. The bigger the impulse the better. Now obviously looking at the area under curves is quite difficult so we give you a statistical analysis tool which sets up a series of bar charts looking at the impulse for each of these curves. And you can tell straight away the area under sample A is significantly bigger than the area under sample B. This is not uncommon with kayak paddles. If I wish to do more detailed analysis I can add this person to the summary. I can then go to a statistical summary which will give me our measurement values in terms of numbers. This is often used for comparing multiple individuals or multiple samples. I can add a number of statistics by simply choosing from this box. This is a very brief introduction to the Talon Excalibur kayak paddle. There will be more information on our website at merlingear.com or feel free to contact us.